Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to guide you step-by-step -step on how to set up a ShadowSock server using HTTP Injector. Whether you're new to this or just need a refresher, this tutorial will make the process easy and straightforward. So, let's dive right in. First, we'll start by creating the ShadowSock server. Open any browser on your device and type UDP Custom in the search bar. Then press Enter. From the search results, tap on the official website to visit its homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look for the menu or hamburger icon, the three horizontal lines, and click on it. This will open a list of main menus. From there, select the SSH servers option, and a new menu will appear with various protocol servers. Since we need a ShadowSock server, click on that option to proceed. On the next page, you'll see a reCAPTCHA box. Check the box and then click on the Generate Now button to create your ShadowSock server. In just a few seconds, the server will be ready. Once it's created, you can copy the server details. Now, let's move on to setting up HTTP Injector. Head over to your mobile app store, download and install HTTP Injector VPN. Once installed, launch the app and you'll be on the home screen. Click on the gear icon located at the top center to access more settings. From there, click on the Shadow Socks label to configure the Shadow Socks server settings. Next, click on the small clipboard icon and a box will appear. Paste the HTTP obfuscation server or TLS obfuscation server details you copied earlier and click OK to save. After this, click the arrow to go back. Now, click on the arrowhead icon located on the right side to choose the required protocol. From the tunnel type menu, select Shadow Socks, and from the connection type menu, select HTTP OBFS. Click the Save button to confirm. If you want to edit the host settings, click on the pencil icon and enter a valid host in the provided box, then save it. If you prefer using the TLS obfuscation method, select TLS OBFS from the settings and go back. Don't forget to put a valid SNI in the given field. Finally, once everything is set up, click on the Start button to connect to the VPN. And that's it. You've successfully set up a ShadowSock server using HTTP Injector. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech guides and tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.